Good morning from Disney Saratoga Springs Resort. We are here today because we're doing a media preview of the rooms at the Riviera Resort. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to get some, like a preview of some of the food too. Yeah. And then later today, we got invited by some cast member friends to go on a cast member preview of the Skyliner. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about that part. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. I'm excited. So I think this will be kind of to show you, um, if you're afraid of heights, how the Skyliner might be for you. Yeah. But first, we're going to the Riviera. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, so this is kind of an overview of what it's going to look like. What, where are those fireworks coming from? Uh, Epcot. Huh. Yeah. Is this like a sneak preview of Epcot Forever? No, I think <laughs> those are uh, Illuminations fireworks, actually. <laughs> Which is funny. That is the lake that's out by Caribbean Beach because you can see the Caribbean Beach buildings right there and you can oh, see the skyliner in the yeah. distance. This looks very nice. I like that they have this. What is this? That's a little fountain. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a little pool. No, but I do like that they have the little privacy hedge around the pool. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. Well, and I like that some of them are on the lawn. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. They have a little preview of some Riviera merch too. A nice Riviera hat. I know, are you a Riviera stan? I'm a Riviera stan. I like that they have these pink ones. And they got some phone cases too. And this big bag. You know what's really funny is we have this bag with something else written on it. I don't know what's written on it though. Cruise line. Is it the Disney cruise line oh, yeah. bag? That's really funny. They have a little display of some of the food that's going to be available at the oh, Riviera. Those are the blueberry lemon pancakes. They look so good. And they told us we're actually probably going to be able to try some of this and then some of the acai yogurt berry parfait. Ooh, you're going to have to say it. She just told us. Oh, Nishwa salad. Tuna Nishwa salad, which looks delicious. Jen is dying that she can't have that. <laughs> lemon Madelines. <laughs> Oh, and it tells you where it's from. So this is from the Primo Bar. Those three were. And then this one's from Le Petit Cafe. And then these olives up here are from Topolino's Terrace. Oh, oh yeah. These are from Topolino, the burrata. Ooh. And look, I had to ask. I'm going to ask the chef later, but there's a little spot where you carve your own truffle. And I'm like, do you get to do that or does the chef do <laughs> no, that? Yeah. Also from Topolino's, you got a quiche guillere. That looks good. And then a fruit plate from Topolino's as well. This all looks so delicious. I'm starving. What is in that shell? I want to say it's probably like some sort of nut butter. Mmm. If I had to guess. I think you're right. Any of you guys that have had the pitch for DVC have probably come here. This is the DVC show building at Saratoga Springs where they have showrooms from a bunch of different DVC resorts, but we're in this rotunda here that has stained glass versions of all of the Disney castles around the world. Soon, I don't know if they're like anticipating adding new castles, but they are going to have to change Hong Kong's soon because Hong Kong is building onto theirs. That just made me dizzy. So when you first walk into the preview center, they have a scale model of the Riviera. You can see this is where you first enter and then you can kind of see Skyliner Station over here. This little tower right here is actually all studios. So wide open studio rooms, and this faces towards Epcot right there. It's kind of a pie shape too. The other thing is that there are three pool areas. So we've got the adults pool right here, and you can kind of see that it's a quiet pool. So all of the noise is blocked by the tower. And this is called the Beau Soleil. Then they have the Riviera pool, which is a family pool, which will have a slide you can kind of see a little bit right there and then this area right here is a splash pad called Sivu Play. The one thing that they told us is that this is based off the area of the Riviera that is kind of the coastal region between France and Italy. So right behind this door leads us into the Riviera section of the preview center and the first thing we notice is the carpet kind of reminiscent of a cruise ship, like a cruise feel. Another thing is there is a hidden Mickey and then there's also a hidden mini over here so you can see it's very similar to the mickey but there's a little bow i love that they did that yeah and now we're heading into the one bedroom which actually can be attached to the studio to the deluxe studio and this is what they would call a two bedroom lock off when you get the studio and the one bedroom together but as you can see the one bedroom so welcome. we've got this some full kitchen here, dishwasher 
a full refrigerator, huge dining area, another one of the pull-down beds, more artwork, and the one thing about the pull-down bed in this room is that this one actually has plugs oh, behind it, I love it where you can charge your phone and put anything else you need to charge while you're sleeping. And the other thing they told us is that these tables here, these end tables, will actually nest underneath this end cushion so you have like a little end table too. I love that the couch does this. Oh yeah. I think that's such a good idea. It is really a good idea. And then the other thing is there's another one of these over here. Another bed which is very similar to all the other beds in the other DVC resorts. Underneath the TV. This is basically a balcony. No, this isn't a balcony. This is the lookout at Caribbean Beach. See a hidden Mickey there? This is the balcony, which is actually very interesting because it has access to the balcony from the master bedroom and from the living room. Now we're headed into the bedroom. And the one thing about this is that there is balcony access from the master bedroom and from the main living area. Of course, more USB plugs next to the bed. Some nice Aristocats artwork. Beautiful view. Same type of balcony detail. The balcony seems really big. Yeah, it does. I love this bed. Oh yeah, this also has hidden Mickeys in it. Up here. Of course, more USB plugs. Underneath the TV. A nice closet here. There's so much storage. There really is. I can't There's get over the storage. Storage underneath the bed as well. There's no drawers like there was in the other room, but there is space underneath there so you can put your... I don't usually like these um, sliding doors, like the barn doors that they do, but this is so nice. Close one. See, they both, they both close together. It's kind of fancy, right? And then you have your own sink in here. So somebody can be getting ready in here, or somebody could be taking a bath in this bubbly jacuzzi. Oh my gosh, this tub is so nice. Yeah, you can see where the bubbles can come up from the bottom. And then the shower is gigantic with a rainfall shower head or a handheld that you can use. I love the tile. Oh yeah. So we heard the story behind this. Although this is Tiana-based artwork, it's sort of supposed to be reminiscent of the French travel posters from back in the 20s. And then another sink. And then here is where the washer and dryer is. And then another closet here. Yeah. And then of course, the table next to the door. Okay, so Riviera looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a super fun resort to stay at. I can't wait till it opens. Well, and I think too, what also helps our excitement is that we watched, we didn't show you guys, but we watched a panel of like the chefs and some of the people that were behind the storyline of the resort. And like, they were so passionate and they were so excited that it really got me like more hyped up for it. Yeah. And then seeing the room, the room was really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys know, well, uh, so Riviera is going to be open very close to the time that we will have a very small child. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to try to get out here for the grand opening of it. If not, very soon after, we'll do mm -hmm. a full tour, show you guys all of the different restaurants, because we found out that there's kind of a lot of restaurants. And they all sounded so delicious. Yeah. There was one that has like fresh made, like house made pastas that sounded really good. There's a French bakery. Yeah. Oh, and it's named after the one of the restaurants in Aristocats. Yeah. So it, it was just, it, it just seemed so like Disney centric. And I know all of these resorts are obviously Disney centric, but this one seemed more so. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. And it's going to be good. And I think I've been saying the name of the restaurant on top wrong the whole time. It's Topolina is going to be a signature dining at night and character breakfast in the morning. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I can't wait to do both of those things. Me too. So right now we're headed over to ride the Skyliner though. I'm nervous. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. We talked to some people that have already done it and they're like, it's so peaceful up there. Yeah. So, and they also said that there's a vast difference between a wrapped, like one with the graphics on the outside mm -hmm. and one without the graphics. So we'll see if we can do both. Yeah. Let's head on over. There it is. We're going on this Skyliner in a second. Ooh, which cabin do you want? Do you want a Coco one? I don't think we get to pick. I think we just kind of get what we get, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. It looks like it's gonna be like a thrilling ride for me, oh, no. which probably sounds silly, but does that make sense? I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> this is where we're headed to, Disney Skyliner. We're gonna get on one and ride. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Also, all the walls are down now, so you can get a good view of how they load and unload. Look at how fast they come in. And then how fast they take off. Wow, physics. Oh, you get a really good view of all the characters now. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. There's Yondo. Yondu? I like Yondo better, that's fun. Wow, yeah, this thing like comes right at you, doesn't it? Look at how frightening this is. Ooh. Oh, I think that we are going to try to go to every stop. I wonder how long this will be. I don't know, this is gonna be like a three hour tour. A three hour tour. So on the way in, somebody asked me how ECV loading works and you can kind of see, this is the full rotation and these two cabins are off to the side for wheelchair and ECV access. So you can see they're not moving, wheelchairs can just roll right in and have no trouble and then as soon as everybody's situated, they can put them back into the rotation and they will take off with the rest of them. Right? I love it. I'm going in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Oh no, here it happens. You want to sit on that side and watch? Here it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. It's al it's already so breezy. Look at Jen's hair. It feels really nice that in was here. Fast. Okay, I, I feel like less scared because that was such a quick ascent. It's we're done. We're doing it. There's no there's no getting out now. Yeah, but this is nice. So one thing that people told us is that you don't get as good of a view out the ones that are wrapped. I think it's okay though. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it looks a little freaky. <laughs> Yeah. He kind of quickly ushered us in here. So. He's like, just get on. You can't say no now. You're in it. You're going. Yeah, so I oh, guess. I can see out this one. Look at this. This is why I'm afraid of Ferris wheels. We were looking at the like safety pictures. And when I was a kid, my dad, whenever we would go on a Ferris wheel, he would rock it because he thought it was like funny to scare me. So I'm. that's why I'm afraid of heights. Like that's the sole reason. So don't rock this, please. So I will say this. A lot of people were concerned about the temperature in here. And it is a cooler day in Florida, but I could see how this could get hot in the summer. Are we stopping? Uh, no. Are you we're just moving slower. We just it slowed down for a second, probably for them to load another an ECV cabin in. Okay. And then we're going to pick up again. So yeah, it definitely, like, as soon as it slowed down, it's hotter in here. Yeah, the wind stopped. Yeah. Oh no, you're super scared. We're gonna move. Here we go. We're moving again. <laughs> oh yeah, we're over top of the trees right now. This is interesting to see how much just forest is around Disney. We're just outside of Hollywood Studios. Like Hollywood Studios is just back there. We're starting our descent into something. Pop Century. Pop? Okay. No. This is the main transfer station at uh, so Caribbean we're, Beach. We're doing the like circle turn thingy? Is that no, this is where we stop, I think. Do we get off? Maybe. Here's one of the wheelchair cabins in action right now. And there's a fan pointed directly at it so that it can cool off real quick. That is really neat. I don't know how it like goes back in. It's all automated. Oh, and that's the cabin that we were on. So just to give you guys some perspective, that was about five minutes from Hollywood Studios to here. And we're at Caribbean Beach right now. This is a transfer station where if we go that way, we can go to Riviera and Epcot, or if we go that way, we can go to Pop Century. They have a display over here with some Skyliner merch, like a nice Skyliner Magiband, some Skyliner toy vehicles, Skyliner socks, Skyliner mugs, shirts, lanyards, buttons, tumblers, Christmas ornaments, and then they have pass holder specific toy vehicles and long sleeve hoodies they have a DVC exclusive magic band, and then they have a Skyliner Pop Funko. How much fun is that? Mickey's gonna ride the Skyliner. Found out a little bit more information about these, which they're calling the Wave Cabins, which is wheel wheelchair accessible vehicle. And they are specific cabins, so you will always get, I don't know if they're all yellow, but you will always get one of these cabins. I don't know if they have any that have the graphics on them, but they are specific. You can kind of see this little red tab up here. That's what pops them off the line and they have specific spacing. So the line will never actually slow down. Oh, well, here's the, here's the answer to that. There is one of the accessible cabins with a graphic on it. The line will never slow down for 
one of these cabins to go back on because they have specific spacing for them. So it's pretty interesting. It gives you plenty of time to load on a wheelchair. And they said the regular cabins will seat up to 10, but these they try to keep at six or under. We did find out that they might put you with another group. So like the cabin ahead of us has... It's three parties and two. Yeah. And now we have one without a wrap on it. So we get the view. Now, and I'm on the back this time, so I'm... I'm on the back this time, so I'm kind of nervous. Here we go! You like swing out a little bit. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> it's so fast. Wow. It just, you almost don't have time to be scared because it happens so quickly. And I think looking this way is, ooh. Oh. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's- Thanks, Disney Omniscient Disney Voice. Resort. Now get ready to travel back in time and enter the animated worlds of Disney. We are on our way to Disney's Pop What was that weird audio Resort cut? And Disney's Art of Animation Resort. There's a little spiel. Cute. That was it. They said that we're getting ready to travel back in time, so this is not this is more than a skyliner. It's a time machine. Oh, it's true. I will say this too. This line over to Art of Animation and Pop Century is not as tall as the other lines yeah oh this is where we go over the water yeah and we go real close down to the water she's and telling us that art of animation's over here on your left is disney's pop century resort a memorable resort that celebrates the way we lived played and communicated with each other throughout the 20th century we're now over the sparkling waters of hourglass lake please sit back relax and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. Soaring. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at the only floating Skyliner station at Walt Disney World Resort. Ooh. She said that this station was floating. Thank you for flying the Disney Skyliner. Bon voyage. Until the doors automatically open. Oh, we're coming in hot. Oh dear. Ah. That was a little scary. Wow. They like really bring you close, don't they? Well, they know the brakes work. <laughs> <laughs> they are still doing some construction around here on the Skyliner station. But we're getting ready to get back on and head back over to Caribbean Beach. We're getting ready to take off. You can kind of see the wheel up there that's going to take us. Here. We. Go. <laughs> it's such a fun takeoff. It's a little bouncy. Yeah. Ah oh, man, this is relaxing. Ooh, she's talking to us again. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. Thanks. At Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot International Gateway. Ooh. We are now gliding over Hourglass Lake. If you were wondering how breezy it is in here, pretty breezy. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some circulation of the air happening. All right, we're headed on the Epcot line. And one thing to note is that here at the Caribbean Beach Station, which is the transfer station between Epcot and Pop Century and Hollywood Studios, they do have bathrooms. Somebody told me that there's a brand new Joffrey stand here. I think we can go down there and look at it. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like people are buying stuff. Whoa! 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 Oh my! I feel like this line is faster than all the rest. This one kind of made my stomach move up a little bit. Oh, and we're going uphill too. We're going way higher. Oh look, there's Epcot. Wow. Oh. Welcome this is aboard, exciting. Islanders. Thank you. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. Where's my hat? <laughs> wow. You can see Riviera, which we just showed you guys. There's Epcot. Guardians of the Galaxy, Play Pavilion.
Oh, well, you can see Everest way off in the distance, Tower of Terror, and Swan and Dolphin. So this, if you're afraid of heights, I think that this was the scariest line to be on. Because we're pretty high up. And it also, we kind of stopped, we, we didn't stop, we slowed way down at the very top and that was scary. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. We can see Riviera's pool. Oh, getting bouncy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So all of the other stations we got out of, and this one we're still in, and this is the warmest section. Yeah, there's not as much, there's not as much airflow through here, so it is a little bit warmer. They do have fans pointed up and into the vents, so occasionally you get like a nice breeze. We are on our way to Epcot. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. What really is the most magical flight on Earth? The flight to Disneyland. Is it Peter Pan? <laughs> oh, you mean like what it really is? Um, is it Peter Pan? I don't know. Maybe. They say that it's this. Look at Spaceship Earth out there. Do you think this is quicker than taking the bus? Yeah. yeah. And it's more peaceful. Yeah. It definitely is quicker than taking the bus and it's more peaceful. So we stopped. Everybody, don't breathe. There's the fire station. Oh, the yeah. fire station right there and Ladies also... Ladies and gentlemen, the has been I'm scared. So we're behind World Showcase. Yeah, oh, just when we see France? pretty soon after we make the turn. The, the village. Will we be able to see the village? Yeah, the new one. Oh, we're moving again. Look, that was a haunted mansion one. Is this somebody actually saying that? I think it's just like a button they push when we get stopped. We are on our way to Epcot International Gateway. When we arrive, remember to use your My Disney Experience mobile app or visit a Fast Pass Plus kiosk to review your worldly itinerary for the day. Please remain seated. This station was designed for turning only. So we're heading into the turn station, which we're not actually going to get off of. I don't even think the doors are going to open, but we're just going to no, kind of... It's just, just for turning. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, we got, we got a nice fast, fast turn. Okay. Well, that one's a guy. All right. Do you think people will use this as just a form of transportation, or do you think people will ride it for fun? I think both. Yeah. Yeah, because people are going to use it to like go to the restaurants at different places, like especially Riviera. I think it's going to be very popular right. on this line. Probably pop too, because there's a maybe pop too, because there's a station right there. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, the biggest rider group will be people going from Pop Century to the Riviera. Here we go! That was a pretty fast turn. It was also hotter in that section because we're not really moving. I think it's going to save a lot of time for people going from like the buses, instead of buses, taking yeah. this from like Hollywood Studios to Caribbean Beach. It'll be like so fast. Coming into view is Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Villas. From elegant dining and magical lounges to lively entertainment, just off the shores of Crescent Lake, this charming seaside resort relives the golden era of Atlantic beach towns and turn-of-the-century amusement parks. Oh, by the way, we're with Jim and Nicole. Hello. Jim Hi. looks an awful lot like Tony Stark right here. Oh, yeah. Now But also a huge thank you to them for inviting us. Yeah, without them we wouldn't be here. Thank you guys. Thank you. And just a quick transition from there, we can see Remy's Ratatouille Adventure here. And they have a big sign on the outside that says opening summer 2020. And then we should be able to see yeah, the little town where we're gonna have a new patisserie. All kinds of different stuff. Where well, they have it all covered with scrim, so we can't really see what's going on. But it's very interesting to see how it looks an awful lot like a, a French town. There's a lot of room back here. So the France pavilion is going to get so much bigger. Because right now, this is where it used to end right there. And now all of this is going to be new open space for 
guests to go and guests to use and be shops. Yeah, shops and restaurants. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting yeah, this the cabin, is nice. Please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Spaghetti Make dog. We have to get out here to switch back into it. We're at the Epcot station. I love the detailing of the hummingbirds and dragonflies. And now we're headed back over. Hey, how's it going? And now we're headed back over to get back on and head back to Caribbean Beach. I think there might be bathrooms at each station because there's bathrooms here too. They stopped us right over top of the road. I'm scared. Look at how scary that looks. It's There's just like large buses zooming underneath us. It's also a little bit loud, so it's kind of like jarring. And it was rocking. Yeah. Please remain seated. We will resume your flight as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. We did want to show you guys that it is possible to open and close the windows. Like that. But I think you'd want them open all the time. It's been 10 years sure? since we last moved. <laughs> it's been 84 years. It's been a good like four minutes. Has it been? Yeah. It's We've just been scary. sitting over top of this road with buses traveling. No, it's, there's nobody down there. <laughs> They're coming though. It's coming. One, one car. They told us that we were going to resume motion momentarily. So that wasn't bad. Like a four minute delay. I wonder what bad. caused that delay though. A transfer? Maybe. Yeah. So although the Skyliner is not open to everybody yet, Joffrey's coffee and tea stand here at Caribbean Beach, I believe is. So Skyliner opens on September 29th, but you can come and get, they have a specialty latte called the Toffee Flight. I think that I'm gonna get it so we can taste it. Dark chocolate topped with toffee crumbles. Ooh, that sounds delicious. So there it is, I got the Toffee Flight. I got it iced and I got it decaf. Looks pretty darn good. Can't wait to try it. It's pretty good. What does it look like? Ooh. Tastes like a cafe mocha with like a hint of toffee. It's good. Um, that's fine for mine. Now that we're on this side, I wanted to show you guys some of the graphics a little bit closer. There's Groot and Rocket. Then you got some of the dwarves over here. So there you have it. That was our trip to see the Riviera preview room mm -hmm. and then a quick trip on the Skyliner. Yeah. So Riviera looks amazing. I can't wait till it opens. Mm -hmm. Those are some darn big rooms and I really like the artwork in them and I like the layout of them as well. Do you think that you liked it? I know we haven't stayed there, but do you think that you liked it better than the Grandestino room? No, I you think don't? I like the Grandest. Well, yeah, I think I like the. It's two totally different rooms though. That's the thing. Cause one's a DVC property and one's just a regular resort. So like the rooms are laid out completely different. I did like the, um, yeah, the like Murphy, the like pull out couch bed, or it's not a pull out couch, it's like a pull out of the wall bed. Yeah. But I like the way that the couch was like, had the splits in it so that it could come down. Yeah, you don't have to like take the couch apart at all. It just like no. comes down and yeah, there it just... is, there's a bed. And I really liked the look of it. Yeah. And I actually, I think I liked, although we haven't stayed there, so I can't speak to like that part of it, but I liked the style of the room, the look of the room okay. a little bit better at the Riviera. It felt more like homey. It felt more like less modern, still felt modern, but more warm and inviting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting to see because the only other DVC that we've stayed at has been Aulani mm -hmm. and the rooms were basically laid out the same where it was like a kitchenette. Or a full kitchen. It was a full, yeah, that was a full kitchen. A living room and then a bedroom off to the side with a bathroom attached to it that you could get to from the kitchen and everything. That bathroom. I loved that bathroom. Yeah, that like, tub was super nice. It was, I want to redo our bathroom and our kitchen. It, like, this is like a in, wishing, like I'm wishing that this would happen type thing. Like, we're not doing it anytime soon. But I loved that bathroom. Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. Very nice. I can imagine just having a long day at the park and then just like taking a bath in that tub. Getting in that bubbly bath. Oh, it was so nice. But oh, and what did you think of the Skyliner? I loved it. I was scared. Yeah? Yeah. I, I Towards the end of it, because we got off and on so many times, so I had time to like do the um, ascent and do the descent like a few times to get used to it. Yeah. By the end, I felt pretty okay. But I was really scared at first. I wanted it to be longer. 
I did too. It's funny that you say that. Yeah, it's such a short trip. Like, so just to give you guys an idea, and I think I said this in the video, from Hollywood Studios to Caribbean Beach transfer station, like four and a half, five minutes. Yeah, it was so short. It Super felt shorter short. than that. Yeah. yeah, and that to me is shorter than the bus ride. I thought I was reading people's like comments about it and they were saying this is way faster than a bus. And in my mind, I'm like, it can't be. Yeah. This can't be faster than a bus. I don't think they're telling the truth. But it was. It was faster than a bus. But we weren't there. We were there for cast previews, so that wasn't like full on guest action. That's true. So like, there may have been there may be a line. Right. You know? But it's an ongoing it's on the line like it's it's not yeah, it's stopping. constantly moving. But so I don't still. think yeah, if there was a long line, I don't think it would take very long to get through it. No. I don't know. I'm gonna definitely uh, be excited to see it in full swing, like when it's actually open. Yeah. Because I think it'll be a really popular spot. Yeah. And I am excited to see, I'm not excited, but I'm interested to see it in the dead of summer because I think it will be hot. We, it wasn't hot today. We talked to some people that said that they wrote it in the summertime and that it was pretty warm when they got stopped. So you guys remember that point when we were stopped over the road and there was there's no wind coming through because you're not moving. Mm -hmm. And they said that it was pretty warm when they were stopped. So just kind of keep that in mind. Yeah. But like we brought waters on and stuff like that. So we were fine and we were hydrated. Yeah. I think that... I don't know. I think it's a really solid addition to like Disney transportation. I think so too. I didn't think at first that it would be. I was not a person that was like, oh yeah, Skyliner's so great. I was actually, I think I literally said in a vlog that I would never ride it. Right. And I kind of liked it a lot. Okay. Well, there you have it. Yeah. Those are our impressions on the Riviera and the new Skyliner system. Yeah. So thank you to Disney for having us out for the media event for the Riviera. Mm -hmm. But thank you to our friends for having us out for the cast member preview of the Skyliner. Yeah. Today so, was a really fun day. Yeah. yeah. And so with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Brianna. I'm Lola. I'm Brian. And we're from Bayonne, New Jersey. And now it's time to